Well, hello there, person. Check it out. There's some really fun stuff here with the game Wraithbinder I'd like to share with you. Starting with item drops. Check it out. So in the top right, underneath my mini-map there, um, we've got a little icon for gold coins and another icon for your light points. Now, whenever you go and you destroy one of these little creep guys, you might buy them as a wraith, but they also drop items. So they drop some, well, I just got some gold credits for that. That's pretty awesome, right? So this used to be after the match, right? You'd go through the whole match and then afterwards you'd open up a little chest and boom, there's some gold in it. But that's not very fun. This is like way more fun when you get to pick it up right during the match. And it's even better because when you go and you fight um, actual enemies, other bots and players and things like that, you get more stuff, so you get more gold and more um, more light points for that. And uh, when you go back to your ship, you can go and spend those light points and uh, gold to buy items. And also, the light points are used to um, upgrade abilities and different attributes for your player. So that's really, really fun. It's super cool to see that viscerally in this match, right, and play. And experience picking up that that the greed right of of that gold check it out my little wraith creeps actually went and destroyed these little um these are called hit switches so these little red things right here you hit them and these bridges appear uh so that's a new thing too so we've got these hit switches that create bridges um there's also another type of bridge uh there is the wraith bridge let's see if we can find one it's they're just totally hidden bridges that um you can walk across but you don't you can never see them and they never open up so they're just sort of invi invisible until you get to near them um oh kind of stuck around here another okay another fun thing that's been added this week is that your upgrade path for your abilities is completely up to you now so uh before there was like certain abilities you could get at level one right at level one or you could only have the blade maybe maybe you get uh actually level two uh, you get you get like your ranged ability, but you couldn't get the shield and You couldn't get your mobility of uh, abilities until like you like the blink the boots and the levitation until level three So now it just basically allows you to choose any one of these abilities at any level and also to upgrade these abilities at just about any level so you can really customize your path each match that you play Wraithbinder can be totally unique in that you can choose whatever you want to be your upgrades for that um for that match so that's also exciting because think about it you used to be like level five or eight or whatever that you got the skybot now you can get the skybot right away if you're playing in co-op mode and you're cooperating with other players to defend your base versus some um some monsters and bosses and things like that you could choose to be the one that wants to build things like i'm going to go and focus on being the skybot master and um upgrade my skybot ability really fast or maybe you're a fighter and you want to upgrade your blade ability uh, the most. Or maybe you want to be a ranged fighter and so you upgrade your um, your boomerang or your bow ability. Um, so the boomerang and the bow are still choices. Where when you choose one of them, that's the item that you have for the rest of that match. So if you choose the bow, you're stuck with the bow for that match. Um, and if you choose the boomerang, you're stuck with the boomerang. So they're both really powerful um, ranged abilities. Um, uh, so either one is going to be cool and fun to play with, uh, but just that's how your that's how your upgrade paths work with certain abilities here in Wraithbinder. Same thing with uh, your mobility items or your movement items, like the boots. The um, let's see, do I have the I have the blink right now? So I have the blink, and that's what this one is. So I I can no longer get boots and I can no longer get levitate. But had I chosen that, um, it would have done that for. Him. Oh, that would have been uh, my mobility ability. So I haven't seen a Wraith Bridge yet. Let's see. There's one maybe right here. Oh, nope. Dang it. I thought that was it. God, come on. Let's find one. Is it here? Nope. They should be about 30%. Oh, no. <laughs> That's psych. There's got to be one around here. And we haven't, oh, we haven't seen any other players because I'm not playing with any other players. That's why. Okay, we'll, we'll, um, we'll find a bridge and then maybe one right here. No? One right here? No? C 
Come on, there's gotta be one. Oh, jeez. They're nowhere to be found. How about here? Whoa, I'm surprised. 30% chance, okay, let's cheat a little bit here. Going into God mode. No. Uh, no. Oh, wait, was that it? There we go, there's one. I don't know why there's a bridge that goes to nowhere right here, but there is. So this is a Wraith Bridge. Basically, if you stand on it, it um, a bridge will appear. But other than that, that's your only indication that these are even there. So that's kind of a really cool secret, right? Okay, let's play this with um, some bots, and we'll show you what it looks like to get some items from killing a bot. Oh, another fun thing, this is kind of a technical thing, but uh, I've made it so that the game can actually play itself with no humans. So uh, I can run some automated tests in the evening and have bots play a match versus themselves and test out for desyncs, test out um, all sorts of things, assertion failures, basically just make sure the game is running really well and that it's going to be really awesome and smooth for multiplayer. So, um, and also it can record GIFs, it can record MP4s now. And um, all that because it now allows the, the game to play itself with no humans. Okay, it looks like there's a... I see on my mini-map. Yep, there's Avi. Boom, let's get this guy. Take him down. Oh, another thing about item drops that you should know as a player of Wraithbinder is that some item drops are yours and some item drops are other players. So if it has um, if it has your team's color under it, then that is your item. But if it has another player's color, then that is their item. So when you kill a player, that that item drop is yours. No one else can pick it up. You're the only one that can. In fact, if you don't ever pick it up, it, you won't get it. Um, so you have to go pick up your items, and only you can pick up your items. So there, he just dropped in out some gold. Let's see, we got three gold coins for killing him, and we got one light point. And all that is based on that player's level. So because he's a pretty low level, I think he's only level two or three, um, that's why I only got a few different coins there uh, and light points. But um, you can see as players start to level up, let's see, I'm only at level three. You know, after you start playing the match for a few more minutes, they'll start leveling up and you'll get more light points for that. And you only get the light points and the, uh, the gold for right now for... Um, killing living players so you can't just kill a wraith um, player because think about it if you were to kill uh, P in PvP mode you start killing other players and they turn into wraiths you can actually swap back and forth forever basically you could you could um, kill a player they become your wraith then another player kills them they become another wraith on that team so if you got light points and and uh, and gold for every one of those different kills um, it could just be a huge um, uh, exploit. So for now, I'm just making it so that you can only get those those awesome item drops when you kill a living player. So the first time that they die. So there you have it. That's what's new making the game Wraithbinder. That's what's fun. Uh, so really, dude, this is really transforming this video game here. Like a lot of stuff has really improved and gotten so much more fun in the last few weeks. Like binding. These little creeps as wraiths on your team, building up a little army, all these item drops that you get now, all these new features to the procedural maps. This is getting to be a, quite a fun game, and when we don't even have anyone else to play multiplayer with yet. So that's one of the next steps we'll be working on here is the getting the multiplayer going. And once this actually get, starts getting played with other players, live, online, real-time multiplayer, this is gonna be even more fun than it is right now, just playing bots. So. It's a pretty good sign that I'm having a fun time as the developer of the video game um, playing just against bots that have a programmed AI. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, person. Catch you next time.